welcome back to my channel. I am sitting here with Hunter while she plays on her play mat, and today's video is going to be a super productive one. I have so much laundry and just general cleaning to do. We just got back from Disney last night, so there's a lot to get done. I'm also going to do a little bit of redecorating around my house, taking down my Valentine's Day stuff, and then just putting up some of my pre-spring decor. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you one of my favorite go-to weeknight dinners. And I don't know about you guys, but when I get home from vacation, I crave a good home-cooked meal. I feel like I just overdid it with all of the eating out while we were on vacation. So if all of that sounds good to you, then keep on watching. What are you doing? Are you going to be mama's helper today? Are you going to be mama's helper today? So I think we can all agree that the worst part about vacation is having to unpack the suitcases afterwards. And I usually put this off for as long as I can, but today I made myself just get it over with since I needed to get caught up on laundry anyway. problems I thought we could fix them we also have two big dogs and the first thing I notice whenever we come home from being away is all of the dog hair that accumulates all along the walls and the corners and around the furniture I usually use my vacuum for this but my daughter was actually napping down here so I just went ahead and used the broom and did it the old-fashioned way to clean up all of this dog hair got tired. there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on my favorite cleaning product for spring is by far the method pink grapefruit i love the scent it's so fresh and just makes me feel happy and it reminds me of spring and i love buying these wipes because they are so convenient and easy and i also keep one in my kitchen and smaller containers in each bathroom just so i can grab them and clean real quick and then throw them away but i'll get over you when it's not like i'm gonna hate you it's what it is nothing left that we could do on a major flower kick lately probably because it already feels like spring here in florida and i also got this bouquet on major sale after valentine's day and once i notice that the flowers start to wilt i'll use them for a little photo shoot with my newborn daughter i just have so much fun getting creative with these and posting pictures on my instagram so i'll leave my handle here if you want to follow along and check those out I know I mentioned in a previous vlog that I wanted to get a bottle sterilizer and you guys, I am so in love. I don't know why I didn't get one sooner. This one sterilizes and dries the bottles and has saved me so much time. Back when I met you, we were like fireworks. So cooking on my gas stove is really nice, but the OCD part of me hates all of the crumbs and sauce and just everything that seems to always get down around the burners. And I just find that I'm constantly cleaning this area and it kind of drives me insane. So I found that using a cleaning wipe and a butter knife is actually the best way to get any food or sauces that drip into this little crevice here on my stove or any little crevices throughout my kitchen actually. This is a little hack that I always use and it works really well and saves me a lot of time. But oh how we got burned Look at us now, we scream, we fight And no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -hmm. Now say goodbye and try to move on I'll 
get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Now we're going to take down my Valentine's Day decor and add some pre-spring decor in its place until I'm ready to bring out all of my Easter stuff. Spring and Easter have always been one of my favorite seasons to decorate for. I just love the fresh, bright, and happy vibes that all the pieces bring to my home. these branches at Target from the Hearth and Hand collection and I am just going to be adding them to a vase to bring a nice pop of color to my dining room table and I also found this little nest at Michael's and thought it added a touch of spring without getting too Eastery just yet. That we both know could and work so we should try to say goodbye. You know we had our problems so now we have to Try to move on Baby, you and me were so messed up together Goodbye until next year, Valentine's Day decor. I loved you while you were out, but now I'm ready to move on to spring. I had to pause my cleaning and decorating for a quick baby dance party. This girl loves to fight her naps and would rather hang out with me all day long if she could. I wanted to go really simple and neutral for my mantle after all of the Valentine's Day decor since it was kind of a lot, so I'm really loving this look right now. Okay, so this area is a work in progress. I decided to try something new and add some florals I had on hand to a canvas tote and hang it on the mug rack. What do you guys think? Is it a go or does it need some work? I'm thinking maybe it needs some flowers that are a little brighter and more springy. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below and you won't hurt my feelings if you don't like this. I'm not sure if I do either. <laughs> What I did to keep my sanity before podcasts while doing dishes and folding laundry. They are such mind numbing tasks to me, and I just find it so much more enjoyable to do these while listening to my favorite podcast, which right now is Crime Junkies and True Crime Obsessed.
I just laid out everything that I need to make for dinner. Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher going behind me. I probably should have planned that better. But this is going to be a curry sauce that my husband and I love. You can add meat to this or whatever vegetables that you prefer, but this is just how I'm gonna be making it tonight. So for the vegetables, you're gonna need bok choy. And then also um, I'm using these mini sweet pepper rings, but you can use regular bell peppers. I just got these honestly because they were already chopped. I'm gonna be using a couple cloves of garlic, some ginger, lime, and then this is tofu, which I am just trying to get all the moisture out in between some paper towels. Um, you can add seafood, chicken, beef, whatever you want, but I was just kind of feeling tofu for tonight. You're gonna need two cans of coconut milk, a little bit of peanut butter, some rice, I like jasmine rice, but use whichever kind you like. Brown would be a little bit healthier. A little bit of honey, some soy sauce. You're also gonna need red curry paste, and I like the kind from Thai Kitchen, which I find at Publix, which is my local grocery store, and then just some salt and pepper. So there isn't an exact recipe that I follow for this dish. I seem to make it different every single time, but it always turns out so good. But I always start with just chopping up all the vegetables and sauteing them in a pot before adding all of the other ingredients, which I also just kind of eyeball and taste and adjust as I go until I get the flavors just how I like them. And it's definitely a comfort food meal and one that always sounds so good to me. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I I feel like I can finally relax now that the house is cleaner and more organized and I've got a good start on all of the laundry. If you like cleaning and decorating motivation, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I have a ton of Easter decor videos coming to my channel very soon that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Stop!